Yo, 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 what's happening, people? It's your boy Khaled, and I just finished watching, witnessing Arsenal win their first game of the season at home against Forest by two goals to one. Should have been, could have been more. Look, I love that first half. Let's get straight into it. That first half, for me, utterly dominant. And I was watching us, and I thought to myself, you know, we're, 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 we're here, man. We've arrived. We've arrived. I look at the, the three players that came in in the summer, Havertz, Rice and Timber. I'll get on to Timber in a minute. Um, they really look, they, they gel quickly. They gel quickly with the team and it, it seems like they've been playing together for more time than what they have been. And I thought it was, it's a credit to the management team and the coaching staff to really try and integrate these players at such short notice and in a such short period of time and for them to play as well as they did. I was really impressed with all three of them. Um, look, I looked at the formation. It was a 3-4-3. I know they put Partey at right back, but he wasn't really a right back. He was playing as the fourth midfielder alongside Havertz, Odegaard and uh, Rice. And we utterly dominated them. I mean, they couldn't get near us in the first half. Utterly, utter domination. And um, we go 1-0 up. We go 1-0 up. Martinelli... Cruyff turn, honestly, like when I saw it, I thought, did he mean it? Did he not? But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because that was absolutely disgusting. He left two defenders for dead, put it into Enketia, takes it out of his feet, first time, takes a deflection, 1 0 up, thank you very much. And I thought that was, honestly, I thought Martinelli in that first half, him and Saka were unplayable. They were absolutely bossing it down the wings. And uh, it was really pleasing to see. Kind of carried on from where they left off last season. And then coming on to my guy here, yeah? my star boy, Bukayo Saka. Name on the back of the shirt. You know what time it is when he gets on the ball. And when he cuts inside and gets it on that left foot. Oh my God, that goal. I got the angle from behind the goal. And it, it starts from outside of the post and just curves in. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful strike. And look, a lot of people were saying in the summer, ah, oh, he's getting paid too much money. But look, I'll tell you now, yeah, Bukayo is, is built differently, man. He comes from a humble upbringing, humble background, you know, decent family. That money is not going to get to his head. And we could see that, and you're going to see that throughout this season. He's going to be pivotal and vital to what we try and achieve this season, our star boy. Always, always, and I'm so proud of him, man. Bukayu and Ketia as well. You know, these guys, man, these are our, our product. You know, we didn't pay big money for them. We've developed these players from grassroots, and it's so pleasing and satisfying to see them flourish at the highest level when they break through into our first 11 and you just let them unleash them, unleash them and just watch, the, watch, watch these magicians at work, man. Odegaard, my captain. Honestly, at times I was looking at this guy today and he was almost, and I don't say this lightly, almost Burkamp-esque. The way he just, he glides with the ball. He sh like, he's an artist, man. He's just stroking, painting pictures around the pitch. It was beautiful to see. And at times he gets the ball in tight positions. And you're thinking, like, how is he going to get out of this situation? He drops the shoulder, puts it through a defender's legs or, you know, it, I mean, it's just so pleasing to see. And he's such a technically gifted player. And I believe there's only, this is only to start with him. I, I feel like he's young. There's still a lot more to come and there's still a lot more um, that he can add to his game to really become that complete number 10. And um, yeah, man, I'm just, I just, I'm looking forward to watching him develop and I'm looking forward to see how his journey progresses from now until, you know, two, three years down the line. Again, Rice. Um, I thought Rice did everything we expected him to do. I would have liked to see a little bit more on the kind of like, be a bit more aggressive higher up the pitch because he's got that role. He's almost playing like the Jacker role where he's got that kind of like um, green light to go further up the pitch. And look, I've got to give it to Turner. For some reason, these keepers, they leave Arsenal and then they turn into, they turn into these prime Buffons when they go to other clubs. That save from Rice, it took a deflection and Turner got down low to his left-hand side, got a hand on it and it came off the post as well. It was an incredible save. 
Really, really great save by Turner. Look, I'm not going to be too harsh on him because he didn't really put a foot wrong in 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 Arsenal. And you know, obviously we got uh, Raya coming in, and there was an opportunity for him to leave, and you know, the rest is history. But yeah, Rice unlucky to get on the score sheet. Now, Forest is Forest's first goal. Well, their only goal, I believe, shouldn't have been allowed because. If you look at it, just before that, Havertz actually gets headbutted in the face. He gets headbutted on the side of the face, he goes down, and by the letter of the law, if it's a head injury, the play has to stop. Michael Oliver let the play continue, Forrest go up the other end and literally score straight away. So I thought that was a bit dubious, but that's probably me just being a bit biased. But yeah, if you want to go by the rules, the letter of the law, that goal should have been disallowed. Uh, negatives today. Timber, I hope it's not a serious injury because you can see already that this guy is a baller. You can see that he's got that presence, he's strong, he's athletic, he can run with the ball, pacey, he, you know, he's got a good pass on him. So I just hope it's not a serious injury that he's suffering with. Hopefully it's just a minor calf strain or something, but we have to wait and see on that one. Um, the other thing, Emirates before the game, half an hour lay, uh, delay in the kickoff due to the e-ticketing technology not working. Poor, not good enough. Come on, we're, we're Arsenal Football Club. This stuff all needs to be, you know, planned in advance. They need to run these tests beforehand because you've got 35,000 fans outside the stadium panicking, thinking the game's kicked off and they're all trying to rush to get in. And we can't get in due to the fault in technology or whatnot. Not good enough by Arsenal Football Club standards. But all in all, look, it's our first game of the Premier League season at home where we won the game 2-1. I can't complain. Would have liked us to score more goals maybe, but that's just me, you know, trying to be a perfectionist. But all in all, hey, look, I look forward to the rest of the season. We're looking strong. We're looking more solid. And the main thing is we look like we've got strength and depth coming off the bench. Let's go. Let's see how we do. Peace out, man.